welcome back to my channel. Happy Terra Tuesday. If you're watching this on Tuesday, of course. I am so excited for today's video. Today is the first video of a new series on my channel. Obviously, you've seen the title, so you clicked it for a reason. You know what's happening. I'm gonna be moving this year, and it's no ordinary move, so I figured I would document the whole process. This year, I am actually buying a home. I am buying a home. Like, the whole thing purchased mine in my name. I own it if things go well. This is my fifth year living in LA and I've been in, I think, four different apartments since moving here. My first place here was a two bedroom and I lived with a couple. It was pretty cute. It was, you know, decently spacious. And when that didn't work out, I moved into my own little studio. It was my first ever apartment that I've lived in on my own and was paying for by myself. Although it was small, it was still like $1,800 a month. It meant a lot to me because I was there all on my own and it was like a really big adulting moment in my life. After that, I upgraded to a one bedroom, which was amazing. I lived there for I think two years, loved living there. And then my most recent move was into this unit, which is a two bedroom. I've been in this unit for two plus years now and I am moving on to a new place. But buying is a little bit more complicated. I feel like that's a given, but it's a much bigger process than just like, looking for an apartment and in a building and then being like, that's the one. Buying something is a lot more serious. And at least for me, I want to take my time and find the perfect place for me. So for the last few months, I've been primarily touring condos instead of houses, just because I'm like one solo person and moving into a house seems kind of scary. I have toured a couple houses, maybe one, I'm not sure. And I'm not like completely disregarding the idea of getting a house. If something pops up and it's like perfect, then I would maybe consider. But a condo just seems like a nice one step up from apartment living. Like you own it, but you don't really have to worry about the maintenance and everything like that. So I've mostly looked at condos. And as you know, I live in LA, so a lot of the buildings are actually a lot older. That's what's been different about touring condos versus when I would tour for apartments. Apartments are all like new and modernized and everything like that. Whereas the condos are typically in older buildings. So it's been a very unique experience. And in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you the places that I've toured. But basically, I just wanna like keep adding to this series whenever I do more steps in this home owning process. I am so excited about this and so excited that I get to share it with you guys. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you are not subscribed yet so you can keep up to date with what's going on in this process and get yourself comfy, get a snack because we're about to go look at a bunch of places together. Honestly, touring is my favorite thing in the world. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And also thumbs up if you're excited for this series. I haven't done a series on my channel in years. So let's get started with the first place. <laughs> The first one I went to was a few months ago and I went with my parents on kind of like a spontaneous moment. We saw there was an open house for this really cute listing and we figured, oh, we're gonna be in the area, let's go check it out. So you walk in and it's kind of like a big rectangle. To your left is the living room, which was adorable, had the cutest fireplace ever. And obviously this unit was staged, so it was definitely decorated stunningly and exactly how I would like my place to look. And then to the right was like a little dining room area. And then behind the little living room area was the kitchen. So the kitchen was fully redone. A lot of this unit was actually redone by the person who had just bought it. I like the floors in here. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is cute. Ooh, and it's organized already. It doesn't slam. Nice. Oh, is it a, oh, they have jacuzzi. Bathrooms were adorable, had really cute tile floors. There were definitely some things that still seemed a little old. Like there was this little cabinet that I saw that just definitely had an older feel. And then in the bedroom, they had this closet, but like the doors were just not, they were not having it. <laughs> I have to do something about the, the closet. <laughs> they definitely needed an upgrade. It was in a little community area, so there was a pond and a walking path, which I really, really like. The second one I went to, I went with my boyfriend, and it was in like an older building. It wasn't too old, but it definitely seemed on the older side, like a little bit run down. The unit overall was really cute. I really liked the big windows, and I really liked that it had a balcony, because I really, really am dying for patio furniture. Whenever I'm at Target, I just die over it, so I need, like I need a patio, or a balcony, or something where I can get the cute furniture. The only thing about this unit, it's just like the kitchen wasn't great, just kind of small and tight feeling. I do a lot of cooking, so it's important to me I have a bigger and open kitchen. After that, we went to another property in the same day, actually. This unit was pretty nice, except the building was just so yikes. Like, I would be scared at night going in there. Even though the community was gated off and secure, I just didn't like the feeling in there. Oh, that's cool. Not nice. Yeah, see, there were re- Oh my god, look at Lori. It's always her. 
Again, the unit itself was really cute. It had a very open living room and dining room area, very open concept. Love the fireplace. As I keep touring, I love a look of a fireplace with like white brick around it. The kitchen was very obviously recently redone, which I really like. Very white, again, kind of like tight feeling. I don't like the hallway feeling in a kitchen. I like it to be more open to everything, but this one really was nice, so I wouldn't have cared as much. It had very nice sized bedrooms. I have no complaints about that. I think it was a two bed, two bath. Nice size walk-in closet. I would probably gut the whole thing and redo it myself, but it was definitely a good size. We can work with it. And then the only thing I really didn't like about this place besides the creepy building was the bathrooms. They were very old feeling and a little bit gross, at least in my opinion. So I definitely would have wanted to tear them all down and or redo it. I have lots of Pinterest boards with lots of ideas, so I would have lots of concept photos to work with. I'll have my Pinterest link down below. Let me go up here. I'm not sure. Oh. Okay, the next place I'm going to show you is probably the coolest place that I toured. Definitely the one that I liked the most thus far, but and I knew this was gonna happen too. I was stupid. It was a little out of my price range, but I wanted to look at it anyways because it looked so cool and we were like right around the corner from it. So we were like, oh, let's just pop in and look. Oh, it was so sad. It was so sad. It was so perfect in every way. I loved it, but it was just too expensive. This one was in the cutest little community. It even had like a little park that was named after me. Well, not me specifically, but it was called the Terra Terrace and there was a little bench next to the sign. It was so cute. I was like, wow, I could come out here with a coffee in the morning, listen to the birds. Like it was adorable. So you walk in and you open into this like big living room area. To the left of the living room, there was actually a little like open nook. It was kind of like a separate room, but there was no doors there. I thought that was the cutest ever. I would make it into like a little entertainment area with like a bar cart. So you walk past the living room and then you have this like open space where you could have a dining room table like they had and then just past that was the cutest like outside inside looking room this is where i'd have my coffee the entire thing was windows i don't know what they called it but it was everything so the right of that was the kitchen very like basic i thought and not like basic is bad it just like there was nothing exciting then up the stairs were the bedrooms so you have a cute little hallway with with little cabinets and everything there was the guest bedroom and the master bedroom which had really cool like high ceilings overall loved it but i just couldn't afford it Sad, sad. Yeah, so the next place I saw after that, I also really, really liked. Like the townhome was beautiful. I loved actually everything about it. There was nothing wrong with it except the location. Another thing about LA that's kind of hard is that it's very spread out and I don't drive. So I need to be at least somewhat central. When I first saw the listing, I thought, oh, it's not so bad. It's only 20 minutes from my place. But once we drove there, it just felt really, really far away. But it was adorable. The building was pink. As you can see, you walk into this like little patio area. That's how you enter. The unit. When you walk in, you directly see the living room and a little dining room to the right. And then you keep walking and you have the whole kitchen. I loved this kitchen. I thought it was so cool. I loved the backsplash. I loved the color of the cabinets. I loved literally everything about it. Loved the sides. It felt very open and bright in there with the windows. Then we kept looking around and the living room was like super nice sized. Again, they had a fireplace, which I like. Behind that was a whole like patio balcony area, which I loved. Again, I definitely would do like a little table and chairs and drink my morning coffee out there or something like that. And then up the stairs again were the bedroom. There were two bedrooms up there and then one in the basement. I don't think I showed that though. Loved the size of the master bedroom. I thought it was really pretty. And then the master bath had two sinks and a big shower. Nice bathroom. It's a kind of tight, but... This is cool. I like that. Yeah. Again, like super new looking, which I like. Overall, I really liked that place, but again, it was just too far away and I would feel very alone up there. <laughs> I toured such a cool looking condo in the Silver Lake area. If you guys know LA, I'm looking to move closer to the west side, but I just saw this unit and I really wanted to see it. It had the most incredible patio space I had ever seen. Obviously it was furnished by the people that lived there or the people that were just furnishing it. I'm honestly not sure, but I definitely would need to know where everything was from because it was perfect. Such a different and unique space. It had concrete floors and sliding doors into the bedroom. Lots and lots of light in there, which I need in my life. It was a two bedroom. I only showed the master though. The other one wasn't like anything special at all. So I guess I just didn't see the purpose. Overall cute unit, but I'm looking more towards the west side and this one kind of was in a weird area. <laughs> Then on a whim, 
I decided to tour a house actually. It popped up and I was like, this one looks really cool. And it really was. It was so nice. I was obsessed with the kitchen. As soon as I walked in, I saw it and just was gravitated towards it. So bright and open and amazing. It even had like a front and backyard. The backyard would be perfect for entertaining during the summer or then again, I'm actually in LA. So any time of the year. Had the most beautiful plants and greenery and flowers. Like it was, it was stunning. Living room is beautiful. I love the way they decorated it. Loved the doors, loved the light fixtures. Like it was overall just perfect. Not a single complaint except that it's a house and that's more maintenance, but I, I don't really know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> And we are at the last units that I've seen. These I actually saw yesterday. So the first one was in a building that was actually built in the, I think it was like 1928. I'll show a picture of the house because I'm not getting it. Basically it had like four units in this one home. So I was touring one of the top units and you could see that it was just older. And that's not a bad thing, but it's just not as much my style. I loved the windows in the living room. I thought that was so pretty and I loved the way it brought the light in. But just like the overall feel, I think I would go to sleep and think that there were ghosts around me. That's a stupid, stupid thing to say, but I'm just being real. Like I would be a little bit scared if I heard any kind of creaks and stuff. And I know that's normal with an older home, but that just kind of scares me, especially I live by myself and I don't want to be scared. <laughs> and also it only had one bathroom, which is not ideal. It was a two bedroom, one bath and the bathroom was just like super super old looking. With this place, I had enough room in my budget to totally renovate the bathroom, but I just, I just didn't love the overall vibe of it. The next place I actually really liked, it was three stories. They walk into the first floor and that's where the bedrooms were, which is kind of like different, but I didn't mind it. There were two bedrooms down there. I just showed you guys the master. And then I had a little closet down there. I love that. It's like a little Harry Potter closet. Yeah. <laughs> and then going up the stairs, which was like straight in front of the door when you walk in, you go to like the main floor, I guess, which had the living room and the kitchen, as well as another bathroom. I loved it. I loved the high ceilings on the main floor. It just felt so open and airy. And there was also a balcony on that floor, right? outside of the living room. The kitchen was cute. Like there were some things that I would want to change, but overall like definitely totally fine kitchen. And then up the stairs, there was actually a little loft area, which I would probably make into like a little entertainment area with a bar cart. And right to the side of that was a rooftop deck. This I just absolutely loved. There was such a big amount of space there, like definitely enough space to put in a full on hot tub if I wanted to, but I would just do like little patio furniture, some cute umbrellas. I really liked this one, but then as soon as I got in the car after leaving, <laughs> they had already accepted an offer. So missed my chance on that one. What I've found here is that when I like something, it goes so fast. Like I would have to put an offer in like day of, and then if I do that, I would literally have the keys in seven days. So this process is gonna go really fast, which is why I figured for this week, I would start this series. So thus far, I have not found the one yet. Still looking, I am going to be touring more places this week and this weekend. Whenever I see something pop up, I email my agent and I'm like, hey, let's go tour this one. Cause I'm super excited about this, but I definitely want to take my time and make sure it's right. Let me know in the comments, which out of all of these units was your favorite. I know there were a lot, but I hope you guys enjoy watching that kind of footage because if not, well, I'm sorry about this whole video. But seriously, the process has been so fun, so weird. You have to go quickly here. The market is just going real fast, which is why I got myself an agent to help me with this process because I've never done this before and I need help. <laughs> That's basically, I guess it for today. This is such a crazy process and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram also because I like to update on there and I post my stories when I tour. So if you follow me on my socials, you'll definitely see stuff before you see it here. Again, do not forget to subscribe so that you can always see the updates for this series whenever I post one. But that's about it for today. So I love you guys so much and I will see you next Tuesday with a